Chris Cook digs in to earn Glamorgan draw against dominant Worcestershire. Billy Root and Graham Wagg mounted a minor rescue job for Glamorgan on day three at Blackfinch New Road. Pair skipper Joe Leach picked up quick early wickets to put his side on top, but they were unable to drive home their advantage. When they did bat, Worcestershire had put on 98 for two wickets, Leach in as night watchman falling to the last ball of the day. Another victory for the pairs was reliant on quick runs, a message Tom Fell and Daryl Mitchell heard loud and clear as they scored quickly from the off. Mitchell bringing up the Team 100 and his half-century with the same shot. The lead was over 200 runs before Glamorgan found their first wicket of the day. Fell caught down the leg side off the bowling of van der Hoogten. Mitchell followed three overs later, stumped by Cook as he came down the pitch to Kieran Bull. The 200 came shortly after the departure of the pair's opener, Dolivera and Haynes having a little fun ahead of lunch. When they did reach the interval, Worcestershire had a lead of 309, heading into the final two sessions of play. Glamorgan would pick up two quick wickets when play resumed. Graham Wagg picked up two in three balls, Dolivera went first, edging to Cook as he looked for the offside boundary. Vessels then followed, his cut shot going the same way as Dolivera, straight into Cook's gloves for his ninth dismissal of the match, equaling a Glamorgan record. The lead was already well over 300 and Cox and Haynes took the opportunity to up the rate as the side set up the declaration. Back-to-back -back fours from Cox took the total to 276 for six, ensuring the lead was 358 and captain Joe Leach waved his side back to the dressing room. Their job with the bat was done, time to win it with the ball. And the success they'd enjoyed in the middle continued with the ball in hand. It took just two balls for Leach to pick up his first wicket, Selman out LBW for naught. Pennington followed his skipper, Carlson departing via an edge through to Cox. Chris Hempfrey went three balls later. He offered no shot to a Leach delivery and was given out LBW with just one run to his name. Billy Root lived up to his name, digging in alongside his captain Chris Cook to give Glamorgan a fighting chance. A swashbuckling drive through the covers from Cook took the second wicket partnership to 50 runs, the side heading into tee at 57 for three, still more than 300 runs behind their hosts, but with just one session left to survive. The pattern of play continued after the break, Cook finding some joy against the bowling of Jake Libby. Root was a key wicket, having batted so well in the first innings, he'd fall to Pennington for 34, caught down the leg side. Cook replied to the loss of his partner by confirming his 50, Libby fired through the offside to get there. He'd be the man to steer Glamorgan to 100 as Worcestershire's bowlers struggled to create opportunities. And with 12 overs left to play, the game was meandering towards a draw when Charlie Morris found the all-important fifth wicket. Cullen was unable to get back to a straight one and was given out to LBW. Worcestershire were back in the game and in the next over had another. Jake Libby struck Dan Douthwaite on the back pad and the umpire didn't hesitate to raise the finger. They'd have to wait for their next breakthrough and when it did finally come there was more than an element of fortune to it. Libby's ball dribbled slowly from Cook's bat onto his stumps. His watch was brought to an end at 74. He had done enough. 14 balls later, Bull left the ball and Leach decided enough was enough, settling for the draw. Worcestershire had been dominant through large portions of the game and probably deserved to take the win, but Glamorgan dug in and frustrated their hosts. An earlier declaration from the home side could have seen them pick up the win. They'll hope to return to winning ways against Northamptonshire next week, while Glamorgan will look to get off the mark when they host Gloucestershire.